Hello, Familia. Glory be to God for another beautiful day. We are on Hebrews chapter 8. I'm excited to break bread with you and to hear the word of the Lord together with you while it is still called today. Hallelujah and amen. <laughs> I believe the Lord will enable us and empower us to hear all he has to say to us personally today. I count on it. And I give him all glory, honor, and thanks that I know he will, Familia. Bless the Lord of my soul. Hebrews chapter 8. Now the main point of what is being said is this. We have this kind of high priest who sat down at the right hand of the throne of the majesty in heavens, a minister of the sanctuary and the true tabernacle that was set up by the Lord and not man. For every high priest is appointed to offer gifts and sacrifices. Therefore, it was necessary for this priest also to have something to offer. Now, if he were on earth, he wouldn't be a priest, since there, there are those offering the gifts prescribed by the law. These serve as a copy and a shadow, familia, of the heavenly things. Glory be to God, we don't have to do it anymore. As Moshe was warned when he was about to complete the tabernacle, for God said, be careful that you make everything according to the pattern that was shown to you on the mountain. That's in Exodus chapter 25 and 40. Glory be to God. But Jesus has now obtained a superior ministry. And to that degree, he is the mediator of a better covenant, which has been legally enacted in better promises. Glory be to God, the promise of eternal life by just simply believing the word of the Lord and following Lord Yeshua wherever he leads you. Glory be to God, hallelujah and amen. And everything that he has, the good deeds and the good acts that he has for you to do has already been prepared and planned before all time. Glory be to God, hallelujah and amen, familia. And all our sins and transgressions and iniquities have been thrown into the sea, never to be remembered. They, ha they are separated from us as far as the east is from the west. Glory be to God. God, familia, believe the word of the Lord. Hallelujah and amen. Let us all believe it. Verse 7. For if that first covenant had been faultless, there would have been no occasion for a second one. But finding fault with his people, he says, or fault, finding fault with them is the literal translation. He says, look. The days are coming, says the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah, not like the covenant that I made with their ancestors on the day I took them by their hands to lead them out of the land of Egypt. I disregarded them, says the Lord, because they did not continue in my covenant. But this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, says the Lord. I will put my laws into their minds and write them on their hearts. His law is in your mind, and it's in your heart. Familia. Glory be to God it is. All we have to do is believe. Our, law, our hearts are deceitful above all else, Familia. Glory be to God, though. He's given us new hearts and new spirits. Can you not see it, Familia? The new is coming. It's here. Lord Yeshua has come and is done. Hallelujah and amen. Continuing, it says, I will be their God, and they will be my people. And each person will not teach his fellow citizen and his, each, bro each his brother say, Know the Lord, because they will all know me, from the least to the greatest of them. For I will be merciful to their wrongdoing, and I will never again remember their sins. Glory be to God, familia. You will never again remember their lawless deeds. Glory be to God. That is in Jeremiah chapter 31, verses 31 and 34. By saying a new covenant, he has declared that the first is old. And what is old and aging is about to disappear. Glory be to God. Familia. We can look towards the old covenant for insight into the new. And we can look for his truth there but lord yeshua is the truth the way and the life there is no other truth there is no other way there is no other life and i just pray that we 
see that more clearly, myself included, more and more every single day in the mighty name of Jesus. It's already done. By his stripes, you are healed. You, in the mighty name of Jesus. You don't have to see it. I don't have to see it. By his stripes, this is all not there. <laughs> and I don't have to believe it. And the pain that I feel, I don't have to believe it. And you don't have to either. You can believe in what you yet do not see. You have permission. Glory be to God. We all do. Hallelujah and amen. May we all be empowered to. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray and I give him thanks that I know he is. With all his might, he's trying. He even says, all day long. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah and amen. Bye, familia. Shalom aleichem.